Right now, I have the Samsung Galaxy Light Ray, exclusively for Metro PCS. Now, um, you know, I had this phone, of course, you know, day it came out, and you know, y'all know, before I do a review on it and stuff, I want to just, you know, go over a few things about the phone. First of all, I want to talk about the design of the phone. The design of the phone is very nice. It has a nice premium look than any other Metro phone that I ever had. Is uh the side of it got like a little gold. I mean, I'm sorry, not gold. It got like a little chrome trimming around it to get a phone a nice sexy look, as you can see. The buttons are physical, you know. I mean, I was always kind of a fan of the physical buttons. So I, the touch, far as the touch buttons and stuff, I you know, I, I just got used to them when I had the LG Connect. Uh, front facing cam, of course, where you can take your pictures and all that good stuff. Uh, you know the little light sensor thing right there it does not have LED notification light no no it doesn't um, top of here you got the 3.5 mil you know jack for your headphones uh, little microphone right there probably where you put it on speakerphone the camera 8 megapixel camera uh, flash um, side of here you got the HDMI port of course for you know hooking it up to your TV power button right there um, power button on the side I gotta get used to because I'm used to pushing the top and you know I can't you know whatever but I gotta get used to pushing the side of it and stuff like that so uh, I noticed when y'all was watching the unboxing video of the phone a lot of you guys were commenting and saying the phone was laggy which it was but you have to remember when any Android startup I don't care if it's a single dual core you know the phone is a little bit laggy when it first started up far as laggy of this phone, this phone is a bit laggy from the LG Connect that I had. Um, I just felt like Metro, when they came out with this phone, they, uh, it, it's not necessarily a downgrade, but I feel like they didn't have to give this phone a single core processor because uh, all the stuff this phone can do and the capability, uh, excuse me, capabilities, this phone should have had a dual core processor. Um, as far as everything else, the uh, you know is running on the LTE network, 4G. Um, the internet is not as responsive as it is on the LG Connect. I don't know if that got something to do with the dual core processor, but it's still a fast phone. Uh, the internet page is still load up fast and stuff like that. It's just the fact when um, it's just not a, you know it's just a little bit far behind from what the uh, the LG Connect gave us and stuff like that. We could just go to YouTube real quick and see, you know. Still, like I said, it still loads up. It still load up fast, you know. The screen on here is gorgeous. It's um, it's using bright, nice colors. It's a super AMOLED screen, and it's. I mean, it is nice. It's a very nice phone. Not gonna lie, it's, it's a very nice phone. And the fact the uh, a lot of people wanted to know about the you know the dial TV the dial TV is a pre-installed app that lets you watch live local stations you know from wherever you live like you can watch the news watch the sports games and stuff like that and it's not streaming from the internet it's actually streaming from this dial TV service now, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm not a big fan of the dial TV service because ever since I had the phone I, I have not picked up a reception of this yet, and I heard the reception of the Dow TV is very spotty. But um, I know I noticed when I was at my job, and I went over to the Burger King, and I was watching a couple of stations just fine. And you know, some of them came in just fine. You know, they didn't mess up. But it's just certain areas I walk in, and it just you know. I, I just wasn't picking up no TV station, so hopefully they update it where, you know, I could pick up more TV stations and stuff like that. Um, far as another thing is, this antenna on the phone for the dial TV is like, uh, you have to have this. It's right here. If you can see it. Little antenna right here. You have to have this antenna pulled out right here. The antenna is very, very flimsy so just say for instance you know this thing looks like it'll break really easy if uh if the right person if it's not in the right person's hands 
Like if you have kids or anything and they know about this thing, trust me, it will break. Uh, but it's kind of weird seeing a phone with an actual antenna. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just weird, you know. But I don't have no problem with that. When I first seen this phone, like the demo version of it, it, it the phone, the antenna was just like sticking out the phone. They didn't have it where you can actually had the um, antenna in the phone but I think that was a really great idea you know so that was that was a pretty good idea that you can hide the antenna and it's in there so it's not coming out you can shake the phone the damn antenna won't fall out or anything so that's a good thing as far as with the antenna thing they did I think they did a great job on that um, the battery is the uh, let's just open the back of this real quick it's a 1600 milliampere amp battery. Now, um, as you can see, you can see it's 1600 milliampere milliampere amp. It's a Samsung battery, of course. You got the 4G car right there, SD uh, slot right here, and stuff like that. Um, but far as everything else, you know, um. The battery on here is not bad at all. You know, I thought the battery was going to be kind of bad because of the type of, you know, the, the type of milliampere amp they use for. But it's pretty good. Now, I had this phone fully charged when I went to sleep last night, and I'm gonna just go to settings and show you. Now the battery was charged. Uh. Let's just say it was, I unplugged it exactly at 11 o'clock this morning. So, uh, let's just see how good it was, you know, through there. Let's see the percentage. Now, I've been using internet. It's been running off the 4G phone calls every now and then, text messaging. So, let's just see the battery usage. It's been up nine hours like that. Uh, let's see. So the battery, I still got a, I got a nice little battery life on this phone compared to the Connect, you know. Compared to the Connect, I got a nice little battery life on this phone. Um, the firmware version is 2.3.6. Now, that was another thing. Uh, when they came out with this phone, I don't think this phone should have had gingerbread at all because this is an older software, of course. Well, this is like 2012. We should be, this thing should come with pre-installed ice cream sandwich. Now another good thing is I seen on this phone is they got a um, a software update. So this is probably used for future purposes for this phone because if you see a lot of Metro Androids, they don't have this option. So that's probably you know that's probably a they're just they just basically letting us know that Ice Cream Sandwich can't come to this phone because of this little software update little you know selection right here. Um, but like I said, other than that, it's not a bad phone, you know, it's just the fact that it's, I kind of feel like they stepped down a little bit with this one. You got a phone with an LG Connect that got a dual core processor, you know, compare, you know, compare, then they come out with a single core, but they got super AMOLED screen and 8 megapixel camera and, you know, like I said, it, the, the screen is gorgeous, you know, taking pictures, everything, it, it looks real nice. It looks nice. But uh let's just go back to where I was going. So y'all can see how videos and stuff load up on this thing. Y'all know how I do it every time I do a review. And um Yes. Uh so I'm gonna go to you know just a video so you can see how long it takes to load up. Just click on that right there. I mean, like I said, it's still fast. Like it looks brilliant, like the screen quality, everything is it's brilliant. Friday night lunch. Well, in Balbrook, Bow to high school games are the best part of any week. See, look, you had the video buffer, but that's a two minute video. I mean, it's a two minute video, so of course it's going to be kind of fast. But other than that, it's, it's, it's a really fast phone. Um, another thing is, uh, this phone lets you have the, uh, they let you have the wireless hotspot. The wireless hotspot, um, uh, maybe it's me, but it's not, it's not, I don't know. It's, 
it's when I used to tether with my um LG Connect and my LG Esteem, I used to can tether with my phone and sometimes it only go to two websites like on the YouTube and Facebook. Now this is a service that's allowing customers to tether. And when I try to tether with this, the speeds are are fast. I'm probably gonna do another video on that in the future to show y'all how that works. But the speeds are fast and they're they're really fast. You know what I'm saying? But only Facebook and YouTube loads up. I mean I I'm not understanding this. I don't know if I have to go to network settings and configuration some of the settings. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's only going to two websites. And I mean, I don't know if they're going to change that in the future or what, but it only go to two websites. If y'all know how to stop this problem or something, leave a comment in the section below. I'll check it out. And if you, you know, you help me out or whatever with this, I'll probably give you a shout out or something. But this is, you know, it's not working like it's supposed to do. So, um, but anyway. What else? Uh, call quality is great. It's not that bad, you know. Um, the call quality is pretty good, you know. Um, text messages, and I can't do a, you know, a review on my text on the text messages or none of the call laws list and stuff because numbers will, you know, appear in my phone and stuff like that. Now, for some reason, um, I'm still on a sixty dollar plan, unlimited everything. I'm grandfathered in from when. You know, they came out with the $70 plan, but I'm still on the $60 plan, and everything works just fine. Uh, I'm going to just show y'all this Dial TV, man. I'm going to see if, you know, if I can get some type of some type of reception or something, man. Because, I mean, the Dial TV is cool, but like I said, I think it should work. You know what I'm saying? Let me just pull this antenna out right here. There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it picks up, you know, a few channels and stuff like that and everything. Uh, you go to live TV. Now, when you first start up the application, it scans for, you know, live channels and stuff. Like, right now, The Simpsons is on on Fox 2. So, I can actually watch The Simpsons right now, but, like I said, I don't know if it's going to, you know, finish loading up or get a, a reception in here because... You know, I'm in I'm at my, I'm at my job and I don't get a reception, no TV reception in here for some reason. So let's just see if I can finally pick up a reception. Okay, it actually worked. It actually worked for the first time. So the TV is working, and this and this is not streaming from your data plan, so you don't have to worry about going over on your data or anything. This is actually streaming from the uh, the TV service so that's a good thing you know that's a very good thing and up here they got the uh, they got other channels you know it, it scan channels like it would scan on your regular TV if you don't have cable or anything so that's that's kind of a good thing I guess you know And, it, and, the, and the colors, on, and it just looks gorgeous. Look at it. That looks nice. This super ominous screen really gives this phone a big step. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, this is the first time it worked. Oh, you know, I've been trying to mess with this TV thing, and it's actually working right now. So, like I said, it's not everywhere, but, you know, it's in a few places. You know, I know it's here in Michigan because I looked at the coverage map for the Dow TV, but it's still very spotty. But it's working. It's working fine. It's working fine. Let's just check. Just let's check out another channel and see what happens. I'm gonna check out uh, NBC. So let's go to NBC and see if this channel works. Let's give it a little second. And they got a little signal strength up here to tell you, uh, you know, if, uh, how bad the signal is or if it's a good signal or whatever. Yeah, see, this is what it kept saying. It says, unable to tune to channel, please try again. So, that's the problem I kind of been having with this dial TV. But, uh, 
Now I want to talk about the price. The price of this phone, uh, four hundred and fifty nine dollars. Um, honestly, four hundred and fifty nine dollars for this phone. I really feel like Metro really pushed it. They really thought this TV phone was gonna really draw a lot of customers and stuff. But uh, if you got any other phone besides the Connect, yes, this is an upgrade for you. But if you already got the LG Connect, you're gonna be disappointed uh, as far as the phone performance and stuff. So I would recommend anybody with an Esteem, I would recommend them to get this phone. Because, you know, this phone is better than this thing. But, um, far as spec-wise with the LG Connect and this phone, this this got a bigger screen, mommy that screen and all that, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of hard to say this phone is better than the um, LG Connect just because that dual-core processor. That processor got a lot, <laughs> has a lot to do, you know what I'm saying, with the, um... It has a lot to do with the phone performance. See, it's not, it's not, it's not laggy. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's responsive, and everything. You know, it's responsive. You know, but, you know, I need a, I need a phone that can handle a lot of apps because I download a lot of apps. I need something that's gonna handle a lot of apps and do everything I'm trying to get it to do. But other than that, it's a pretty good phone. Uh, out of one through ten, I would give this phone a seven point five. Um. You know, I just really think they, you know, if Metro was going to push a phone for $459, I would have thought they would put another core in the processor. And, you know, I mean, it sh I just really think it should have been a little bit better. It's not a bad phone. You know, videos and everything still work on here. Flash still work on here, you know, from your Flash websites and all that stuff. But, um... Uh, Still a lot of boatware from Metro, of course, they, they throw on here. Not You know what? It's not really a lot of, you know, Metro boatware on here, now that I think about it. The little visual voicemail service, I downloaded that myself at Metro. So, and, um, you know, you got the, the regular Google stuff, the playbooks, the Chase. I mean, damn, I downloaded the Chase app. I'm sorry. Um, the voice recorder, you know, all the other basic stuff. But they didn't give you all the Metro backup. The oh, there it is, Metro 411. I was about to say they didn't give you that. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty good phone. I'm not gonna just down the phone like that. But if you got the LG Connect, you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> well, not that disappointed, but you're gonna be, you know, you know, you're gonna be like, uh, I really think my last phone was faster, you know. Mm. But um. Anyway, I just had to show y'all this nice, sexy phone. It's still a, it's a, it's a, it's a good-looking premium phone. You know, got the Metro logo right there and the Galaxy S with the 4G symbol right there. Looks nice, you know. Um, if you really think you should, you you should spend 459 dollars for this phone. You know, with my upgrade fees and everything, I paid 501 dollars, 501 dollars for this phone. That's a lot of money. So if you balling and you you know you think you got the money to just spend it like that, then be my guest. But I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty much up to you. But Metro, y'all need the four hundred and fifty nine dollars. I think y'all should drop the price on this phone, like really, cause it's not. <laughs> honestly, I don't think it's worth it. But this has been your boy Shino four seven five seven giving y'all a little you know little tips and review on this phone. This uh. Samsung Galaxy S Light Ray. I'm out. Peace.